Zonia, the marriage of poetry and jazz, right here at the National Jazz Museum in Harlem. I want to take a moment and introduce the City Love NYC band, who you just heard from. On piano and keys, we have Andre Chez Lewis. On electric guitar, we have Kappa. On drums, we have Alex Durant. 
And on bass, we have Kinji Tokunaga. And now I want to introduce um, our first featured poet for the evening, Nkosi Nkululeko. He's a 2017 Poets House and 2018 Salt and Stall Foundation of the Arts Fellow. He's also the winner of the Michigan Quarterly Review's Paige Davidson Clayton Prize for Emerging Poets in 2018. Now his poetry can be found in journals such as Callaloo, Tripwire 17, The Offing, and Plowshares. In Kosi's poem, Skin Deep, formerly published in the Adroit Journal, is anthologized in the Best American Poetry of 2018. He is also anthologized in the Bettering American Volume 3 and the Furious Flower, seeding the future of African American poetry. Nkosi is a chess and music instructor from Harlem, New York. Enjoy the work and the poetry of Nkosi Nkuleko. heritage, cyclical wealth recurring to me. So what? I used to be a nigga, now I'm a Negro. So what? I used to be a Negro, now I'm not. So what? I used to kneel in front of white men, my back growing open like canals, strips of marigold and rose colors lining my spine like a garden. So what? I used to know. So what? I used to know. So what? I used to know kings born under the misty sky of the east, their velvet capes cloaking skin as white 
as the first moment of blindness. So what? I used to want gold-plated mirrors, my face shining through glass like streams of light hailing through clouds at noon. So what? Never have I ever conquered a thing. That's unusual power for the darker brother. So what? Here I progress. So what? Here I progress. Here I'm used to power. speaking on Negroes, niggers, niggas, niggas, the we are the news jigaboos, or on more of the Negro, Negrophobiacs, new to the Negroes whom are newer now, the postmodern N-word, sick of nightsticks, swift flight, their own quick remembrance of the ships, the deep waters of negritude, shores shawled over the stored dead and their descendants, sent to the ports, poor ports, you harbor the boring carcasses, my negrologists, thinkers of negrohood as their inky mouths marked marge and scatter at the edge of water or the edge of wasteland. Parts of names, nation speech, nigga York, kinetic cut negroes, Della Beware niggas, each pregnant with gangs of them, thimble size, chain gangs, their clinks, their clings, their many money abundant minds murky with mercy. But like mercy, we're purchased in parts, on blocks, far and wide, across cross, 
all the continents, a slower diaspora, the grammar learned by the carving of the wives' bellies, the children leaving from one womb to enter another womb, shucking, shucking, and jiving, oh yes, this almost erotic bondage, instilling a hunger most beasts learn before they are destroyed. Before, before, before they are destroyed. There are many a money abundant minds murky with mercy, but like mercy, we're purchased in parts. On the blocks, the postmodern inward thinkers of Negrohood as their inky mouths mark margins scatter at the edge of water or the edge of wasteland or the edge of nigga York, Connecticut Negroes, the Delaware niggas, each pregnant with gangs of them. Thimble size chain gangs, their clinks, their clinks, the thimble size of chain gangs, their clinks, and their clinks, their many money abundant minds murky with mercy, but another wound, it's another wound, just another wound. Shucking and jiving, 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 shucking and jiving. Oh yes, shucking and jiving. Oh yes, this almost erotic bondage, instilling a hunger most beasts learn before they are destroyed. crowd your coffin like smoke each raindrop pushing you further into the earth black dirt turning blue a pianist grazes their palm onto a tree and feels the flesh of a piano I think you'd open the instrument's dark mouth its veins feigning a ripple I do believe you have sprinkled the ash of jazz to say this is not jazz closer to rhythmic closer to blue, a black math void of solution because who wants answers? Because play any one of them, the lonious monk said, and it will suffice a feeling. It's not impulse exactly, but impulsive meditations. To think we named a music is to divide its content from its maker. And you called it jazz, like how we've called it jazz. But enough is enough for now. I've scribed a poem for you that I think mediates your hollowed ballads, our blues. And music of your kind visits us with echoes of dialogue. They sing and sing for a pianist to look in the mirroring lake of a key and weep until a memory walks out. Our damp mornings our damp mornings, like your life spills over. Your death tells me that to fly high is to find rain. It is to welcome the redundancy of a wet sky. Every three months we shift into to a season. Three black keys shifting into two. It's that black math I've mentioned. It relieves the sorrow of white space. Because who doesn't notice that small weight that the plane makes before sinking beneath the clouds? Because when you say any one of them, that could be an answer to the question of what life do you live when I'm gone? Any one of them. Because when I'm near a piano, I'm trying to hear the spaces you leave in its belly, its emptiness, its conscientious nothingness. That space, that space.
much in Kosi. And apologies, I failed to mention, I believe, that he was performing his work above covers by jazz legend Miles Davis. So again, thank you, Nkosi, and thank you to the City Love NYC Band. I want to now introduce our next featured artist, Trace DePass. Trace Howard DePass is the author of Self-Portrait as the Space Between Us, published by Pink Books in 2018. DePass lives in Southeast Queens, New York, serving as a teaching artist for the Climate Museum and Urban Word NYC. Let's welcome Trace Howard DePass. Hey. The single window inside the bathroom tries to shatter outside itself. I do enjoy the shower, scorching, peeling the paint off the ceiling, literally. I unsheathe shed skin now from the wall of my own back and paint over the wall several times. And efforts here become undone more often than youth's shoelaces. And at this point, I blame paint for being broken and not the boy who deserves a home that won't unstitch itself under its own stretched side. Paint rips off his pants, cracks a smile, and I made myself to a vacant room for so many bodies so long that this room will learn to take and Kelvin what I do to it with heat. I know the air is homeless too. It all day running like eyes throughout a painting and it's hot enough to see that there is nothing truly enough to keep you here. Mist makes me wish to fleet past this way, out that window. The word for this in English I know is homeostasis. Or perhaps, in other words, equilibrium. And it brings a little death bit out of hot room in order for people to say it happened and ain't no longer. In order for people to say it happened and ain't no longer or never was. It's so people can still laugh and not sink or sinks. My mouth adopted into English like son to a grandmother he was not originally supposed to be son of. The language carves with faulty love, a home in the mouth for each time I gather my hands enough to tell the mirror how beautiful it is. A cough caught way past the back of the throat brings the body out, the metaphor wherein it is its own room back into the world where in my back is hunched in every room. Hawking up a sink's broken copper and diction in order to say to the black throat whether import or export any act of English almost inflicts the same nuanced process of deaths, old deaths, so much so the walls are painted in voluntary blood, so much so I am half-filled English and every indigenous African tongue slips out the windows of my body. Each anywhere, anywhere we wrap in the shower or breathe. I laughed with a sink the other day. You ain't got no tongue, my sink laughed. Itself off the wall, itself off the hinge that glue can become. And what was left looked like an endless broken ass jaw. It took everything that I ain't ever controlled which I still do owe in late fees to get it to quit laughing. And no one asked me how I kept the lights on, how I could still speak. That was the other day. And this is end of unemployment in Jamaica, Queens. End of unemployment. 45 dead from hurricane in New York City and counting. 50,000 at least in NYC from COVID. And I don't have any more bars left about neglect. How institutions don't care whoever black 
and next, a collaborative member providing programming in Queens dies. And for an institution, deadlines are still deadlines. Only when the state gives it money does a thing not change. Simply becomes an older thing. And in New York City, I age, dynamics shift and the human condition won't relent with imperialism as context. Scarcity is just one why and space and time away from a scary city. How can I look for a home when I can barely find, how can I look for a home for a poem when I can barely find one for me? In the middle of a pan pizza, in the middle of a pan, Ceramic in the middle of a pantomime, in the middle of a pantaloons. I want, I want not knowing to be less painful. But I know, Drake gonna do the same thing he been doing for a decade. And fair trade still gonna trend on Twitter. Drake is a metaphysical constant that does not change. Meanwhile, black people in general name things different things and they become new things. Local push a man in the street, done remix the corner store to a bootleg Netflix. You give him $20 for a weed, and he'll give you 30 DVDs. Neighbor, neighbor's gonna have whole meeting, a whole meeting with the smoke in the staircase in my building. And she'll let me know if she's a cop or not from the top step of the stairs as soon as she senses somebody like me. These are hood check-ins. This is how much grace we can actually afford. Glizzy OG gonna say, they raised the price at the hair salon. We gotta come blowed out already. Cause a long haired Negroes like me, and I don't mind. I flip those to give black women relief. I leave to see my father who I had not truly seen, only intermittently, perhaps more so than my mother, who raises the boys, my younger brothers. I watch lovely of my father's world in real time. Every time I see him as I see myself, God needs me to be a son, a lover, a mother, a God from the other side of Elysium. Heart attacks and his 30s flipped his 40s to triple bypasses, samples my own absence. So it's like forgiveness doing the dirty wine out the subwoofers. I executive produce a small privilege of working at home to go be with my father in my Sagittarian winter. And before I New York City return, everything I own is in bags, in cardboard boxes, in a New York City office basement before the hurricane. And my bed frame is out in the street because things change. Passive aggressively, and especially with allegedly family men. A man, a man, a man will always choose his own phallus over his actual family and I feel like I'm the only one out here in Southside Jamaica actually trying to break intergenerational curses poetry and irony keeps me alive in the pandemonium and the pandas moaning hums New York City can keep cold shoulders in the quarantine but for so long without its Harlem shaking undulations to I -E -I -E -I -E -E all in pundits saying the shmoney dance is raking up snake eyes on the dice roll and whole grants in grams. E-rap, SBA, NIFA, platinum, sour. Every elder I loved and would give my life for and paid rent to caught COVID and not me. Only one of them died this time. One day, my good aunt, Aunt Pat, she said, I got a dress for every award you'll win. Aunt is rarely my blood aunt, but is. She was that aunt that would stand up and boo, hoo, snot, cry through a poem, your poem, as you cried through a poem. And she said, go ahead, you're good, let's go. She said, we bringing home tonight. We bringing bodies home tonight. She went home to one day desire collapses in the lungs of aunt after she caught COVID. So I don't know what to make of a purple dress anymore, but black people name things.
and turn them into something comfortable and economical. Is New York City two or woods? Like in the Panasonic, an imperial war in its eye born dead, a child in regal, make a racist infrastructure in the north, do what democracy should for a living. I vote and burn all my memory of a temperate forest on the bright side. There is no redemption for a concrete jungle. There is no U.S. ratio sination. There might be only blackness for some of us living or dead and still living. There would be rhythm and post blues mauve, mauve, red shifting to siege and schizo analysis, post psycho analysis. However, Deleuze lives in a French city. Adult kids in New York City overdose or their cars become drowned street stars. And perhaps what we should call it is a first world woods. One nation under God can't be prayer for peace. I turn back to New York and I've already moved out. Black people change things like locks. And your aunt is not always your aunt. Like your uncle is not always your uncle. And your father bearing your name did not always bear your name. And I get it. I'm bad at returning to. I lock myself out to. I say I leave my heart inside whenever a door for me opens. I know we move with abandon or addiction. You gotta understand, niggas move different, suspicious, intergenerational about it. I get that. I am a nigga too. I am a nigga of. I am a nigga of. Do you dig me? Somebody has to write about scarcity in me the inability to love after ocean fire and the children missing and those who could not remain boys and could not become men, how and why we chose to be friends, just friends immediately so we don't die. Blackness did not just make me, but allowed me to see me. Somebody, somebody has to write about the failures we'll need for reference. A human was the only animal who could become king. There are only animal kingdoms. No one here has solidarity with trees. No one cindering points at felled bark next to its roots and unthanks God. No one, nothing I put on paper is enough to, ge to keep my grandmother from her daylight cooing, cooing the moon. So it might come home, home, tonight. And how often, niggas die, how often? How often do niggas die? I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna keep going. Thank you, thank you, word. Shout outs to Big T, shout outs to the homie, shout outs to Nkosi, shout outs to the Love NYC band. I'm gonna I'm I'm keep it, I'm gonna keep it going. So this is a, this is a bunch of sonnets. Imperialized crown of sonnets. So a crown of sonnets is when you uh, take the, the last line of a sonnet and you make the first line of the next sonnet. A crown is seven, so quick, uh, yes. Uh, imperialized crown of sonnets. White man, white man gonna say, we are all either Hitler or there is no Hitler. Is history for whiteness? Metaphysical conceit for whose mans is this? If my ancestors survived war, am I not a veteran? And in the moment my elders die, I was born dead. Who gonna tell me otherwise? Which one of you white folks are gonna say, I too was a slave, I too built a Wall Street, was set ablaze from stock as I once lived for myself. Reddit called the flip I made from stolen land, short squeeze. I'm allowed to trade as a stolen person. Reddit is right, I's been done capitalized. I's been done, I's been done capitalized. I've been done, had racks off my own black back, been stacked up for Northern Negroes, personal worlds controlled demolition. My Gaddafi's been from quote, for dinar, cut, charcuterie, 
been diced fluently from guillotine as seen loved ones fluently passed and went pathogens lick moms clean off earth's blue scab tectonic trotting erotic electronic oozy us plastic bags of uh, plastic bags for more object permanence i serve word bliss when tucking on the blouse of God, I tempted his holy son with some Gnosticism. I scrolled for the soul before begotten. I scrolled for the soul before begotten. Here, take. I won't profit without breaking you off a piece. I made you in mind, packed as a child, that I could do this. I could share and co-experience a searing world for you. You once refused because you love. We all bear a pronoun we no longer bear and more for the work of the work of the body shook dancing via poem. Is immortality or immorality relative to what I tap and does life tap into? Heaven was in a mouth throwing up from yesterday, meandering life from wetness. One point undead is only my one point mess. One point undead is only one point. My omnitemporal angels, dead, dead ass, yes, alive, kissing my, me my tesseract of memory back to sleep. Cause they know I don't know warmth, just give it inside pack compacted for me by me for us by us involuntary till sedentary i tell on me i give me away i don't take care of my freedoms even the bullets were a gift if i ever must go for something bad to go someplace else not a game translation depends on faith faith depends on translation as i lie when i promise i'll be good and I wake up loved, yet for some reason armed. And I wake up loved, yet yes, somehow armed. I'm intentional about dying happy. Before I die, I will protect someone I love. Or perhaps we are all somehow protected. And I'm the one inside opening doors I shouldn't. Paying someone to chisel my own grave, etc. As I owed whom owned you my life. Negroes, slave, yes, for black folk too. I'm bought and sold at any time too. This nonprofit work for the child teacher won't be called labor. I earned time's hand patiently eroding trapezius off spinal tissue. I got me so fucked up during the pandemic. I reminisce during the pandemic. I reminisce about it in it. How maybe I wrote my best poem on returning home, not knowing I was already moved out. On I had to move. I wish I'd written more about the plane as I was on it. How could I have missed opportunity to write about how classism plays out right as it finishes me like violent skidding off the literal plane's landing? I know this opportunity is scarce and deflationary asset. I'm sure I'd alleviated me of all my bewildered me had I invested. Bewildered me had I invested. A post-colonial world might still be racist. A post-carceral world might have men who still take from it. I'm not okay. And yet me on the edge of my mind and bed might still be elite if caught in, if caught me done in Y3 on the night Fridays on my feet wanted yet done with want yes i'm too anxious with ownership too colonized to be owning this i'm good riddance and good off this no home just clothes and i'm on sale lines mean half off yankee means american and likely northern white man say we are all either hitler thanks Some songs, let me see. How y'all doing? Y'all doing good? Everybody chilling? Woo! Do do do! Et cetera! Et cetera! Um, let's see. Uh, piggybacking off the last poem. <clears throat> Black only passes as Yankee here. I pass as not Shinnecock. I pass as only one genocide. I only barely own a home. I pass as a room owner, black, landlord of the trees, indoor, sloped 11 flights of stairs as pregame to my outdoor grass. 
I remember when this field of grass outside building one and circle one and Southside was just a broken playground. What was already uprooted tapped back in indigenous roots, I guess. Bark, I am so easy to love, I'm told. But I am hard to be loved and hard to have been loved by. I know what they see won't reverberate or echolocate in oceanic plates under my skin. I belong to a home until I misread who lives in it. Bark, I kicked so hard. I forget caterpillars bear children, bear wings inside them from afforded time, bear venom even. Some of the lucky ones I pass as plotted against. I pass as plot devised without divination, like a father to trees or plants, trying to remember someone like his child, uptight, pistil, pretty. I pass as burdened, a man carrying how the world can't tell me how to love. All right. Okay, let's see. Ooh. We got some more, we got some more. Tanks, tanks. Let's see. Um, I guess I'll just go into New American Constitution. And my, my book right here. Woo! Woo! So this is, a, this is a long poem that got a sonnet in it. They use a sonnet as the Volta for the big poem. New American Constitution, Terms and Conditions. <laughs> uh, after Terrence Hayes and Jory Graham. Jory Graham has a book called Fast, and she uses like the word ingredient as like a uh, direction, and I think that's so fire. Um, and you know Terrence Hayes got poems about like deers and teeth and stuff. <laughs> he has great poems too. Oh, that man is a genius. Um, okay. The sunset's heat nudges an avalanche to bear hug a deer until it converts, convulses, culverts. Two from its blood, several streams it would gladly drink from. Ingredient mandible of deer will never screw in through its own jaw enough English to concur. The deer fear in its damp squeal might incite, may excite, let's say invite in the snow, the snow, Mr. Hayes, too may not own teeth, but something caught in its taking nature, something white, male, something that stampeded here before it taught me nation soil reminisces of men's incisors, molars, forefathers, in regards to red, redlining, I dismember or disremember this brand of poverty. Acquiescence and certain passivity knows to trail us from black, red, translucent, and nature. Doors are always open or there is no door. A cave rejects bartering its being with men, but was its cliff Marxist? Do you know? Whimsy blushed slope down the brine of its deer's dark jawline. Bleached stuffs under it, dark with too many legs to be men, to burnt sienna. And who would know how many nieces we lost to poverty and snow? I hovered me, choked me to me. I courted him once, and a god near us from his coma just woke his ass up in this avalanche. I am its snow. In this avalanche, I am the deer. But who is it? The deer unsuspecting that its cold-blooded killer won't be, it turns out, human. Snow unsuspecting its white sheets would not wave a surrender flag. But to hear now, to whiteness, conceding copies of, in fact, itself. Some poems, perhaps here, perhaps not exactly here, as one and zero as a cork, I'm not, by the end, killing myself. I simply ain't expect embracing what revolves to be this gruesome. Only a god can see his blood, see its snow, be unwilling to unsee, wake up from a coma and see with dear eyes you, and smile as though nothing with laws to kill it had killed it. In epistles wherein I am no god, my lens falls to a click of misclick. A yes, I agree with me, thus colonizing my damned me. Delusions of Ran, like grandeur, wherein a he placed his dimmed blueprint totalitarian. 
his framework shadow prisons with laws for someone loved. It colored me so well. Everybody loved became censored black bodies which rods and cones were forced to render. Force had entered, became broken to silence members alongside me in mine, as in, let's not, let's not talk about the subject of this poem. Let's not talk about the subject of her body, mine, or any dear as a metaphor for mine. Let's not talk about what it is to be here, just governed into a body, let alone a governing body. Can you smell the blood of this new lecture about tacit consent? Let's not talk about the idea of choice, let alone the talk of lesser of two evils and the laments wherein you find me. Evil consume me so well it define me. I and Girdle just got married around his neck. I tied the knot with glizzy car. I killed me on my drive to objectively good now from a bad place. I is a widow now, a window with a letter opener charged at the single letter N until shattered free of self. Perhaps, I guess, a good person says me and I got divorced. It was about time. It was by force. And all the poems wherein you say I mostly sell puns, puns for the living. I find God as mine, bested by me into me and mine. Morning morning the animals I store in wombs inside me was civic duty was the tax I paid to love the wager not which at any any attainable time could I my dear afford bag, my jacket, each layer off my shoulders until I unzipped and was sitting on my own skin in the dark so long. It could have only been a chair wherein my skin hung over the armrest for decoration, growing eyes out in silence like a passive guy. And yet everything was just still here, like my eczema which I rake from. So long I pulled from scabs, a scaffold with a bike attached. Yes, I did. I thumbed through all this court case, all this heartbreak, all this belt that made the brown a darker brown. I say it fertilized my flower bed on some days, knowing some days it would not. But yes, this whole thing, a garden, it, this itch, this scaffold, contraption with its chains and locks and chains and self of the iron to iron like how a good mother does the good child after losing custody I say each bike hugging a scaffold was me and it was here I asked to be let out from me so long in that room that in the interim a boy got his wish for death he got his wish for death he woke up in another mother's arms he handed us his newest intercom eulogy and although we know each mother wanted every moment he could have been to rupture the eardrums of a passive god all we asked for was a moment of silence and people are counterintuitive i know i am but this this one time i died so long that while i became a quantum thing so broken and its compartments light would not admit i thought I was given out a poem, a love, but fell and kept on falling until every orifice of me had shifted red and then translucent and then whoo, let's go. 
Paul and then what was what was his name? Whoever he was, I was then giving empty space paradoxically warm with a mouth so good. God unmade me and I kept going knowing all I wanted was a whole body again. All I asked for was to be undone again. How a mother can undust their son's casket with a whale and begin to have it. And I, and I, and I did. And I did within an archive of stillness. And still, still together. I'm, I'm still here. straight into uh, our last song, which is, um, uh, what is it? Don't mean a thing. Is that, is that cool with you? Cool. All right, y'all. Outside, heaven. I 
I was thinking we get drinks and I can tell you my sins. I wanna talk to you. I need guidance. Don't mean to. I'll stop outside heaven. I'll stop outside heaven. I'll stop outside. I'll stop outside. I'll stop outside heaven. I'll stop outside. City Love NYC Band. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this evening. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Kendallin Walker. I'm the curator of this series. And apologies that I could not physically be in the building, but I do hope to be with you next month at our next Jazzonia session, which will be on October 14th at 7 p.m. So again, thank you to our featured poets, Trace and Nkosi, as well as the City Love NYC Band, as well as the National Jazz Museum in Harlem. Um, many thanks to Ryan and Martin and the rest of the staff for making this uh, time possible. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I hope you take real good care, and we will see you next month. <laughs>